guys, welcome back to my channel, The Planted Carly Flower. I'm Carly, and today we are gonna do a tour of my Mills bow in my bedroom. So this was highly requested. I'm super excited to show everything to you guys. So without further ado, let's just get right on into it. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Okay guys, so this is the Mills bow. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna remove my temperature meters and let's just start over here on the bottom shelf. So this is a Hoya Sweet Scent. And she's really beautiful. She's uh, recently transferred to Pawn and uh, doing really well. I guess not too recently, it's been it's been a few weeks. So I'm just gonna set that down here. You guys might remember this from my import video. This is Hoya, Pac uh, Hoya Paculata Variegata. It's got some new growth coming in right there. But she's beautiful, she's in LECA, and she's doing really well. This Sorry, I have to move tendrils around because they're all like propped up on each other. This um, is my Pink Princess Philodendron. I'm sure you guys remember her. I just did a video uh, a couple days on her and how I rehabbed her and saved her from a pretty much a dead plant. So yeah, she's doing good. She's beautiful and she lives in the Millsbo. This is Hoya Jed. He's got a brand new still growing leaf right here. Um, there is a peduncle there. Um, yeah, he's doing really well. He's got a bunch of leaves in there. They're all kind of stacked up on top of each other. But yeah, I got him from Import, so he's doing well. That's Hoya Jed. Okay, this is my Callistophylla Longleaf. I'm doing my best to keep all this in frame, so bear with me. This is Callistophile Longleaf, and she has been about a month or a month and a half or so into pawn, and she's doing really well. She's got a couple of tendrils growing. Um, she's, she's really pretty. Hoya Callistophila. Okay. This is my Hoya Imbricata, and she's growing really well. She's a fun one, guys. Hoya Imbricata. This is Hoya Graffithii. And look at this long... Let's see if I can get an idea here for you. Look at this long, long tendril, guys. She is doing so good. I think I need to take her out of here and, like, stake her or cut her or something. Because this is just insane it's everywhere I should probably cut it and propagate it but this is Hoya Griffithii this is Hoya Wonder back here and she's beautiful she's got a nice tendril with a new leaf coming out this leaf is new this leaf is new see how floppy it still is it's still new um, but yeah Hoya Wonder okay let me see if I can get some of this tendril stuff back in here. Okay, uh, let's see, next is Hoya Ring San. And she's doing good. She's got a few tendrils and some new leaves coming out as well. This is another import. So that's Hoya Ring San. Here is Hoya surigaoensis, and she's got leaves popping up everywhere. She's got a tendril going. She is beautiful. She was just two leaves when I got her. These two leaves down here, actually. And she's doing so beautifully. Like, she's growing big, gorgeous leaves. Yeah, that's surigaoensis. This is one of my favorites here. This is Hoya. A.H. Parasitica 175. She's got the most beautiful pink splash. You can see on this new leaf here too, the beautiful pink splash. She's got so many little leaves coming in, you guys. Look at that one right there. 
she's gorgeous. She's doing really well. She recently was moved to pawn and she really seems to be liking it. Uh, this is Hoya Merdithiae. And I need to repot her soon because look at that. Look at all those roots, guys. Her oldest leaf does seem to be experiencing a little bit of yellowing, but again, that's the oldest leaf, so I'm not overly concerned. The rest of her leaves are beautiful and shiny and glossy, and they've got this beautiful veining. So Hoya Merdithiae. Ooh, this one feels like it needs water. Let's check it out. Yep, needs a little bit of water. This is Hoya Crassi Petu. Hmm. Cressy Petiolata and she's obviously in pond and doing super well. She's growing. She's got these gorgeous splashy leaves. I don't see any peduncles yet but that's okay. She's growing lots of gorgeous leaves. They're nice and firm. She's on my homemade trellis here. Um, the items to build the trellises are in my Amazon storefront if you want to visit my link tree and check that out but it's just eight gauge craft wire and yeah she's doing really well go if you want to know how I built this Mills bow I do have um, a video on how I put this Mills bow together what's in it what went into it um, so definitely check out the description box down below I'll put all the information down there for that Okay, let's move to the top. Um, just a quick mention, some of these are up for sale on my Instagram page, so if you see anything that you like here, um, I'm downsizing just a tad, so you might wanna check out my Instagram. Um, in the stories, there are some of these plants for sale. Kind of like this Latifolia. Uh, this is my Latifolia. This is for sale on my Instagram right now, and she's big and beautiful. So that's Hoya Latifolia, I'm gonna set her there. Um, this is my Hoya Vitilinoids. She's beautiful. I love her. And she's getting a new leaf. That's Hoya Vitilinoids. Ooh, this big beast. Hoya Balance Balanensis. And she's big. Look at that big leaf there. She's a big one. I need to trellis her better than she is as well. She needs to grow more. She's got this long tendril there and then another one coming here. So she needs a, a proper trellis and she'll be getting that very shortly. This is Hoya Mindarensis and I believe it is the a yellow variety. I don't know for sure. It has never bloomed. It doesn't have any peduncles yet. But I saved this from a pretty dead cutting, and it's doing really, really well. Oh, you know what? I imported this. It didn't come with the tag. I honestly don't even know what it is. So this is Hoya No ID for me. Um, it almost died in transport, um, but it's growing finally. It's in cocoa chips, and it's got two little leaves sprouting. Um, if anybody knows what this is, Please let me know. It came with so much damage and hopefully hopefully it continues to grow. This is my silver dragon. My alocasia silver dragon. That's his older leaf. And this is the newest. And this is the one that it came with. And as you can see that leaf is on its way out. But that's okay, that's what happens when you get new leaves on these. We do have some babies popping up in the dirt there. Let's see if I can, I'm scared to drop the plant. There and there. So that's pretty exciting. And it's definitely growing some stuff out the sides as well. Um, it's doing really well and there is actually another leaf on the way, if you can see it there another leaf coming in so I'm super excited this one's doing really really well look at that big beautiful leaf you guys oh could you just die it's gorgeous this is my Hoya Suluisi GPS um, 8867 
and she's doing really good. Look at that sun dressing, you guys. It's gorgeous. And that on the bottom, that is her newest leaf. And she's got another leaf coming in there. Hoya Sulisii. Beautiful. Okay, guys, this here's beauty is Hoya Dakii. It's got a little tendril and a leaf coming in. I don't know if you can see it in there. But I love this plant. It came with the leaf damage and I don't mind it. It just makes it even more unique in mine. But that's the Dakii. This is Hoya Finlaysonii Nova. Very cool. I like it a lot. It's got like very prehistoric leaves, which if you know me is totally up my alley. It's getting a nice long tendril. It's getting a new leaf. Yep, Hoya Finlaysonii Nova. Love it. I absolutely love it. It's my favorite Finlaysonii variety as of right now. Okay. This is my Anthurium Clarinervium. She just got a new little baby leaf. Little baby. Other than that, she's doing really well. She's in pure moss and loving every bit of her life. It came with the torn leaf, but again, I, I don't mind it. It's absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait for this leaf to keep growing and getting bigger and bigger. This is another one that I don't know the, the name of. Um, I have to look it up on my Etsy. Um, I'll put it on the screen like all the others. But she's beautiful. Those two big leaves, this leaf and this leaf, um, came in in my care and now it's got this tendril coming out with two leaves. Um, it's gorgeous. It's a very gorgeous Hoya. I am very, um, very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Smooth, glossy leaves with very striking veining in person. I don't know if it's picking up on, on the camera, but it's beautiful. It's in Lekka and it's very well rooted. It's doing really well. It's got some algae, but who doesn't have some problems, right? Okay. CV Jennifer. I just put water in her, so I'm not going to take her out because she'll spill water everywhere and ruin my life. But yeah, Hoya CV Jennifer. Getting a leaf and a tendril here. It's got some tendrils growing. She's doing really, really well. This is one of my bigger Hoyas in this particular Millsbo. And she's gorgeous. I love her. Hoya CV Jennifer. Okay guys, so that was my downstairs Mills bow. I really hope you enjoyed that little tour. I hope it wasn't too shaky for you. But yeah, leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to hit don't forget to hit subscribe and like. And I really hope I see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for joining me and go spend lots of quality time with your plant babies today. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.